Hello guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel, this is Boys in Graphics. So in this video, I'll be teaching you guys how to create a 3D effect on Corel Draw. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and change my paper to A4, landscape. And um, of course, we need the text for this tutorial. So, what I'm going to type here is 3D text, 3D text effect. Alright, so I'm going to expand this, change the font to. For the purpose of this video, I'm just using this font. Memes. Harvest, so you can check it out on the um, you can download it and make use of it. Alright, so, so you can see this text is grouped already. So to break it down, to break it apart, press Ctrl K to do so. So I'm gonna play around with this text. I'm gonna play around with this text. So to do this, to play around the text, what you need to do is select your envelope tool and follow this instruction. Delete the node, delete this node, delete this node, delete this node. And also delete this now. I'm gonna change this to outline. I'm gonna change this to outline. Change this to line. Change this to line. Sorry. And now I'm gonna bring my imagine as a ruler in order to get the perfect dimension. So what I'm going to do now is play around this text. So you can actually do this on your own. It's super simple. You can actually do it on your own. Okay, so I'm going to convert the curve. Bring this down a bit. Convert the curve. The down line. Take it out a bit. I'm going to do the same. My to my effect here. I'm going to delete this now. I'm going to select and delete. Right click on it and turn it to outline so that you can be able to manipulate the shape anyhow you want it. So I'm going to do this. Take this here and um, of course, same with this. Okay, basically, now, okay, let me do this the same thing I did over there. Now you can delete the margin, take it out. And one more thing, I would like to just play around this part a bit. Just to make it look as if it's, <laughs> it's dancing. <laughs> Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is to add our 3D effect. So, see you in the next step. 
we'll come back to the next step so the next thing we're going to do is to select our extrude tool apply it to this text like this so to get a perfect application so click select um sorry press your control button on your keyboard this way then you make your adjustment this way so i want it to lap on top of this this way Okay, so let me import a color palette which I downloaded so you can make use of it. First of all, let me select this color, apply it here, select this, apply it here. Okay, as you can see, I just put the black outline just for us to see the, the, the file we're working with. So apply same wig, same one, um, same 2D on um, the one on top. Let's apply an outline so to see what we are doing. All right, guys, here we go. So so guys, to manipulate these colors. First of all, select this, click on the S2 and go to objects. Break, select break S2 group apart. So as you can see, if you do this, during this you will see that the text is now the objects now are now they are now separate. So you can easily manipulate them. So to manipulate these colors, select this. And on group object as control you the shortcut. So guys, I will apply my colors this way. Selecting this, I would like to use this darker orange. This way, this way, this way. So guys, I would like to use a gradient. So you can see this place. This place is looking as if it's not. Um, we are not actually seeing the 3D. So what I'm going to do now is select a few to interactive field to and drag this here, just to add a little gradient to it, just a little bit. What I'm going to do now is select this, use our pick color and pick a color here, just to get. Let me use the darker one. Yeah, so guys, you can see we have a we have two colors here just to differentiate between the colors. So what I'm gonna do now is apply this here. Alright guys, so this will actually take time but something you can actually play around with and um, so just give me a few minutes a few seconds to do this and i'll be right back
so this is the result we got after filling the 3D. Anytime you find yourself in this situation, all you need to do is select this and press shift page up to bring it forward. Alright, so um the next thing I'm going to do now is to add some gradient to this level here to make it look nice. So what I'm going to do is select my select my interactive field to hold my control and drag. Click and drag. I'm going to add a little effect here. Alright, so guys, you can see we have See we have two colors here. Two colors. So I'm gonna apply them by right clicking and dragging to the effects that select. So when you do this, all you need to do is leave it and select copy fill here. Automatically it will bring the color um the fix on the first in the effects text to the second text. So I'll go ahead and add some effects here this way. I'll add some effects here. If I'll clip this inside this object and do something like this. Like this. Let me select. After filling, what I'm add is an effect. So if you want to achieve this, Fill it with color or click it inside the object, select the transparency to and drag it to fill the bottom line of it. So after doing this, you will see the result. So close this and as you can see, I think we have a texture around this text. So I'm going to copy this. Apply same to the down one here. And paste it here. And let's see what we have. Boom. Alright, guys, so this is what we have. The 3D. So I'm going to add it. I'm going to add some background so you can see it so clearly. Just this here, and just the color, make it more darker. You can reduce the feather, which I'm going to use time here. So, on dynasty, we can use 15 as it was. So, I'll break this apart, bring it down a little bit. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to change this background because it's kind of affecting the design. So, what I'm going to do is adjust this color. Alright, so guys, you can actually play around this. I love to add a background to this. I'm just playing around this. Just to show you guys how to do it. Alright, so let's do this. This um, if I this uh, what I want to run here now. I've done a tutorial about it before. So yeah, if you don't, if you get confused here, yeah, so 
So I'm gonna put the link of the video somewhere up for you to watch. So in case you don't know how, how I got this, I'm gonna put the link for you to watch. So what I'm basically trying to do is just have a effect to this this design. So what I'm gonna do now is reduce the the, the brightness by fading it this way, this way. Have any question? Can drop me the question in the down comment section below. And guys, thank you for watching this video. If you love this video, give it a thumbs up and um, share this video. It's gonna be useful for anybody out there. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video. Stay crazy.